I don't know about this, Lee. You've never done a song twice before. Yeah, I know, but they paid for it, so like, who the fuck cares? Yeah, but that's not very artistic of you. Fuck you, I don't care, Deftones. You can get the fuck out of here with that shit. Mm-hmm, I'll be watching. No, you won't. Hi, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And yes, we are doing a song twice, but I promise with a special caveat. This is a very special live presentation <coughs> of this song, and there is a video, and it's cool. Someone, our patron, Vi, picked this video actually a while ago, and we had done all of Metropolis Part 2 for her Patreon stuff. So we're going to be doing that today, and I am very excited because it's, it's cool, apparently. And this is the crazy song from this album that I really like, so um, let's do it. I don't care if I'm doing it twice, I'm here for the video. So if you guys aren't subscribed, help a brother out. Click that icon, wherever the fuck it is, I'd really appreciate it. It helps, and it's free, and it takes like two seconds. And it shows that you want to see more Dream Theater, which you probably will anyway, so whatever. Fair enough, right? <clears throat> Dream Theater. Finally free. Metropolis Part 2 live in New York. Three, two, one, go! You are once again surrounded by a brilliant white light. Allow the light to lead you away from the past and into this lifetime. As the light dissipates... I mean, this song blew my fucking mind when I first heard it. Remembering all like, I cannot believe... <laughs> they really got me. They really did. Dream Theater got me. So good, though. And refreshed. Open your eyes, Nicholas. So dope, bro. This is so awesome already. Is it like a play, like on stage? Like, are they doing all this stuff like there? Is it like pre-recorded video? I guess I'll see, right?
it comes. This is so cool that they've been able to do this. This shit blew my mind the first time I heard it. Oh my god, it's so good. What a good twist, man. in the year 2000, right? Like, it looks so, like it's a different time, even though it was 23 years ago, but it's like, it's crazy. It's like a different world. I love Portnoy's get up, it looks fucking sick. Dude. I love his this jersey too, it's got it's Metropolis and Zero Zero on the back, that's awesome. <laughs> He's playing the tambourine, yo! <laughs> What the fuck? That's awesome, bro. <laughs> Sick, dude. Oh my god. He's such a good drummer. Oh my god, dude. He's so smooth with everything. Like It's like effortless to him. He's just looking down and just playing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Someone better call the fucking cops. He's hurting the shit out of the dogs, bro. 
I try to say drums and toms, but to say it says drums. I don't know why my brain does that all the time. I kind of want to watch this whole concert now, I'm not going to lie, bye. <laughs> I want to listen to the whole thing now. <laughs> this, part, this is the part that really blew my mind in the song. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? I didn't even know what reality was at that point. I swear to God, if it's one of the band members or something, I'll be like, what the fuck? This is the part that really screwed my noggin. And as you can imagine, as the skies have grown darker here over Washington and more importantly over the waters of Martha's Vineyard, the mood has grown darker as well. And people here are beginning to resign themselves to the possibility that they are witnessing yet another tragedy in a long string of misfortunes. Reaction from everywhere, from Bobby Washington Kennedy? and certainly from around the world. As Ken I can't remember what y'all said it was on the last video. I hate those, those generic footsteps, like, from the 70s, like... <laughs> Open your eyes, Nicholas. Ah! Fucked me up the last time I watched it. I was like, <laughs> oh man, that was so good. Thank you for picking that by. Um, just to think that that was probably shot for very, very little, very cheap, probably for free, just friends doing it for them, you know, fans of Dream Theater. That was really, it, it got the story across very well, like on a low budget, like production value sort of thing. And it looked really cool and it got everything across and. I love the little extra parts that were thrown in there, and it was cool just to see the band doing that. Cause I think the only, I think the only times I've ever seen them actually in anything was the video for Another Day, and there was another video I think that we did that I saw them, but that was like back from the '80s and the '90s. So that was more, I guess, like a more modern look, and I guess I really got to finally see what they look like. Um, I love the jersey that Mike, I think, I'm pretty sure that's Mike Portnoy still, you guys, I, I know there's a cutoff line or something, I could be wrong, and I just don't remember people's face as well, um, especially when I've only seen them once or twice, but I love the jersey that he was wearing, that was so cool to have, like, the Metropolis and the Zero Zero, I would wear that, that was dope, I would definitely wear that, um, 
I love all their gear too. Like his kit was so, so nice. And I love the bass too. That thing was like a six string bass, right? Or a seven string. I could be wrong. I couldn't count how many strings were on there, but oh my God, that was a beautiful bass right there. Um, and yeah, I really, really enjoyed his vocals actually, uh, James's vocals, uh, cause they sounded great live. That was really, really good. Um, Honestly, I like those vocals almost more than the studio version, I think. It sounded really, really good. And um, I liked how everyone else was singing as well. Like Mike was singing, uh, John was singing, you know, everyone was singing. I really, really liked that. And I know I'm not like the biggest dream theater like nut, so I don't know all of their stuff and all the intricacies and everything. But I really, really enjoyed Metropolis Part 2. Um, and, it, you know, the start, the start was rough for me, but the last, the, the other three parts were just awesome. I really enjoyed it. And like I said, then when you go back and listen to the intro songs, again, it all makes sense. You know, they just had to set everything up. So I really, really enjoyed this album. It's probably my favorite thing from Dream Theater, like, other than, like, The Glass Prison and stuff like that. That was, like, one of the first songs I heard. It really blew my mind, too. So, yeah, these guys are, like, Between the Barrier to Me before Between the Barrier to Me and, like, minus the vocals, you know, minus, like, the death metal vocals sometimes, you know. So I really, really, really like this. Thank you for picking this. My patrons are the best. Y'all have great taste, and I appreciate you guys so much. Y'all are so awesome. Thank you for this. And I'm looking forward. All the